Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Black, White, and Red All Over. I'm Victor Dandridge. Ryan Seymour. Dude, I'm coming off of NYCC and the energy is high. It's so high. Some very cool stories coming out yes, of Yes, sir. Yes, sir. People. You know what? In fact, let's start off with one of the best yes. ones right now. Let's do this. So I was, I was in line for a panel and this guy like recognize me. Do you know how amazing that feels? It's gotta be strange. Dude, it's, 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 it's weird, but good. Yes. So, uh, retroactively, as a belated, happy birthday, Dre. Uh, much appreciate meeting you, buddy. Um, really hope that, uh, you know, we can work together uh, in the future. He's a teacher. Oh, actually. really? So, you know, maybe my You Create stuff might find its way into yeah. the classrooms in New York City. What, what? Uh, but yeah, he's a big fan. He said to tell you hi. Oh, so, um, hey, Dre, how you doing? Um, if anybody else that is a subscriber, yeah. you guys really should know, yep. we're going we're gonna to do some changes on some yeah. stuff. So the Patreon. Yes, yes. We're going to, you know, switch that up a little bit. We've had a nice little bit of success. But yeah. we want to try to change some things, see if yeah. we can invigorate, yeah. and uh, we're yeah. going to have some yeah. more offerings. Yeah, give some different tiers to choose from yep. for yep. involvement yep. purposes and, and cash flow. That's right. So if you're not already a Patreon member, yep. check it out. See if yep. it's something that you might like. Um, I think we're starting off as low as, what, two bucks? I believe so. Two, three bucks? I think we're doing that. So, I mean, we're just kind of put some stuff out there, yo. Yeah. Bing and exclusive boom. content for each of those levels. Yes. Exclusivity. Things that you can say that you've seen that other people have not. Mm -hmm. And speaking of. Like my ex-wife's soul. Whoa. 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 whoa, whoa. <laughs> she doesn't have one. You lied. <laughs> um, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I don't know your ex-wife. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> ha! Um, all right. So we've got all three the same. Yes. Right now. Like this is, this is major. Yeah. This is, this is boom, 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 boom. Where do you want to start, sir? Ooh. Should we start off with the funny? We can start off with the funny. Because it is. I do not mind laughing. The question is, which one oh, is good. your funny? Oh. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> oh, that's, like that's right. Uh, because I think they're both pretty funny. Yeah, yeah she got, uh, that's a toughie. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy's Bastards? Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, so Jimmy's Bastards, number four. Yes. Um, shout out to Aftershock. Love you guys. Um, Garth Ennis had his oh, finest. Oh, God. Garth, man, I swear, like, it, what makes it interesting, and this one will actually tie into the other book that we yeah. were talking about, uh, or will be talking about, uh, this spy trope that yes. people are really kind of reinventing and taking to this new level, yeah. um, we're finding some fresh ground. You would think right. that after, what, 60 years yeah. of spy stuff, we'd be like, okay, we're tapped out. Yeah. It's like, but this, is, this is, what I love about it is this character. Yes is so much the stereotype Completely. that it no longer is the, the, the stereotype, the, if that makes sense. Right, we, yeah, we it's, it's, so, it's so absurd yeah. that it's something brand new. Yeah. It's so absurd in how rigidly it is just like that thing yeah. that it's brand new yeah. and not like that thing at all. So it's kind of, a, it's kind of crazy yeah. good. It's crazy good. Yeah. Um, Get the gender, <laughs> there's so many things. Gender fluid. <laughs> is actually in this case it's, a, it's actual, a literal it's a fluid it's a thing that affects i okay so <laughs> there there are ideas presented within this yes. and i do give garth mad credit for pulling back yeah and not just making the entire issue about that because i know you could yeah i know you could yeah. i've read your stuff i know what you do you could definitely do that so um write another one like it yeah please uh addendum <laughs> style yeah you know, it would director's oh, cut. Oh my Can gosh, a director's cut for that? Because <laughs> that was already oh, pretty bad. With a scratch and stuff oh, page. Oh, oh, oh that's not. Mm -mm, no. Mm -mm, no. Um, it says a lot, though, about who we are as individuals yeah. and what would happen if things changed. Yeah. You know? I, and I think it's true. I, I've always said that. You know, yeah. something like that happens to me, don't look for me for two weeks. I'm Maybe. just saying. Doing some uh, experimentation. Yeah, yeah. exploration. Yeah. Exploration. I'm spelunking in the caves. <laughs> <laughs> Read the book and it'll make sense. It, it'll, it'll make, make all the sense perfect, in the world. Perfect sense. Um, I have to admit that is a strangely diabolical thing. Yeah. Because um, there is some level to it where you're just like, that's ridiculous, but it is kind of diabolical all at the same it, yeah. time. Like just. It's so over the top. Wait, hold on. Hold, what? Like, what? Ah, what? Ah. What, what I also love about this issue yes. is the obtuseness of the character. Uh, like every time they start talking about it and he just, just whatever. Yeah. I, I don't under. This is what I, this is, I just did this thing. Yeah. That's all I, this is, I only did this. Yeah. Anything else. Clones. I wasn't right. <laughs> right. It's, it's just didn't like it. He has no cognizant no understanding whatsoever, yeah. whatever of what it could actually be the yeah. case. Um, but again, like you think about it, like this is such a, a, a Captain Kirk-esque yes. kind of thing. Yeah. Like, 
you have to ask this question, like Captain Kirk flying around being the womanizer that he was. Yeah. There's got to be some light green kids out there somewhere. somewhere. Like there's some half Klingon, half Kirk kid that's feeling a certain kind of way. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. How cool would that have been if that was why Khan went after it was because he was actually <laughs> Kirk's kid and he was mad that Kirk wasn't around. <laughs> Kirk! <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> this is just an adolescent play out yeah. for Kirk's kid. Yeah. And his daddy was there. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> see, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's so many different tropes. Yeah. It's Austin Powers. It's Kingsman. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, James Bond. Yeah. It's so many different pieces. Yeah. And a massive comedy. Yes. Like, a hundred, like hysterical. Hilarity. Absolute hilarity. Um, if you're not reading Jim, Jimmy's Bastards yeah. because you're afraid of the language, that's smart, actually. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> There's no... It's actually really smart. Yeah. But it's really funny, yeah. really, really good. And again, Aftershock yep. is killing the game yep. um, with the content that they're putting out. I just don't... Yeah. It's weird what happens when you let creators come in and do what they do. Yes. With no input. Just like, just... Yeah. Hey, guys. Yeah. What happens if you want to... Just play, yeah. Just play, and I almost feel like it, there's a sense of empowerment that's different than Image, where Image is almost like, well, you have to make this thing move, you have yeah. to make it go. But it, with Aftershock, they're like, okay, you get to play, be as creative as you yeah. want, and then we'll take over the admin side. Yeah. We'll we'll do the work yeah. on that level, and you just mm -hmm. have it, fun. It's amazing. It's a good time. So, so much good, good time. So much good content. Yo, absolutely. Shout out to Mike Martz and the whole team. Lee, I see you. I know you're not on social media, but somebody's showing you episodes. Pleasure to meet you guys. Um, okay, so do we stay in this in the spy genre? Do we do we do we dip? Do we change? Oh my gosh, it, I I think we should stay okay. because when we shift gears, it's a hard it's, shift. It's a hard shift. It's a hard shift. Okay, so Kingsman Red Diamond number two. Mm -hmm. This is again first time, dude. This is yeah. the first time we've seen a number two issue of a Miller World title not done by Mark Miller yeah. under any circumstance. Yeah, it's so weird to only see his name in the, these characters were created, created by. Created by, right. It's like, ah, yeah. this is crazy. Um, we've got uh, Rob Williams. Yes. We've got Simon Fraser, my yes. guy, Simon Fraser. Um, this book is ridiculously fun. Yeah, it's such a fast read, but not because it's, like, it just the action carries right. you along. It's boom, 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 boom. Yeah. It's breakneck. It's, it's very fun. Yeah. Very, very mm, quick-witted. Yes. Because you can't be, yeah. you can't just read the words. You have to really think about this because yeah. it's smart. Yeah, it's far smarter than a quick read kind of belies sometimes. Yeah. So, and yeah. some of the stuff that comes out of Exy's mouth <laughs> is, is fantastic because it's like sideways shots at stuff. Right, and you're just like, is that is, is that, that what you're actually? You that's not just, right. You shouldn't yeah. say that. Yeah, you shouldn't say that. That's rude. But it's amazing. Oh. So, um, this series. You're playing with the tropes, again, of the super spy element. Yeah. You've got the big bad guy. Yep. Um, the big bad guy, this big bad guy is actually about business. Yeah. Like, there's no two ways about it. This is second issue in. Yeah. Stuff is happening. Yeah. And People are getting taken off the board. Yeah. If you're like, what's Red Diamond? What's the tie-in? You will find out in this issue what Red Diamond yes, is. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Yeah. Yeah. And, again, with the pop cultural references, yeah. um, shout out to the movie references, although I am going to challenge you, Rob. Uh, I hear La La Land is not really as good as you seem to be promoting. No spoiler. No spoiler. <laughs> I'm telling you what I heard. I haven't seen it yet either. So, but also I haven't flown to England from New York. So maybe I should do that and I might like it. Well, Ryan Gosling's in it, right? I mean, he is. Then it's good. Uh, I would say Emma Stone's in it, therefore it's good. But I still hear the combination of the two does not make it quite... Doesn't do it. Yeah. But that's all right. I digress. Kingsman. Yeah. Um... Obviously, if you guys, and Kingsman's riding high right now. Yeah. I mean, the, the movie came out um, last month. Yeah. Phenomenal. Like the first couple weeks, it was top. Oh, yeah. It was top, top number one. It was, it was number one. It's mad funny. It's mad funny. And this kind of keeps that vibe going. Like, yeah. That's the best part. Um, when you can have a multimedia outlet, yeah. and then you have a book tie in, and it's not just regurgitating what you saw, yeah. but it's still the same vibe. Yeah. That's helpful. Yeah, that's it's very, very, very cool. And and the way Robbie Williams maintains that mm -hmm. that tone mm -hmm. throughout, very cool. Very solid. Very very solid. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if there's a non-spoilerly thing that else that I can say, but there's not because nope. because like the interaction he has with that one person. Yes. Uh, the interaction with the other person. Still. Uh, yeah. No, you can't. It, yeah, you can't say that's that. that's you can't the say thing. Any of that. No. It, yeah. Ugh. Listen, I tell you what, read the books, that way I can talk to you, and yeah. you can tweet at us, Advantage In-House, yeah. Irish Ride 39, and then we can talk. Yeah. This is the hard part, man. Yeah. Like, this is when we have stuff that, like, fun stuff happens, we're like, 
there, yeah, because there's nothing we can say because when you get through to that sequence and then the, the climax of that sequence mm -hmm. and then you're left at the end with full realization. That's... You, yeah, you can't... Yeah, so tweet at I us. Agree. I agree. Send us the tweets yes. and join the conversation. Worst case scenario, if you can't tweet at us right now, hit us up in comments yep. on the actual page. We'll yep. talk there. Yep. We'll talk your heads off. Yeah, Facebook. Do that. YouTubes. We'll yeah. kitty chat at you. Follow us on YouTube. Definitely do and that. Never miss an episode. God, you should be doing that. Um, subscribe. So, and here's this hard shift to a completely different feel and genre. And now for something different. Um, Dark Knight Metal. Yeah. Capullo. Number three. Schneider. Jonathan Glapian, FCO of uh, DC Comics. Yeah, it's so dark. Like, Darkness. Ba -na 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 -na. When no parents. Um, yeah, w when they describe how each of those things came into existence, yes. it really put it in, because I, I had thoughts about how it would work, right. but the understanding that it's based off of that person's worst nightmares. Right. What could it possibly be? Yeah. You know. Um, here's my yeah. one complaint, though, okay. about that. Yep. It's too easily aligned with the current structure of the Justice League. I would have liked it if, based on this, it's not everyone else's dark fear, but Batman's. Mm -hmm. oh. I would imagine that it would be like the iteration of the Justice League throughout of things that would terrify him. So, you know, maybe a, a Shazam based yeah. one oh. instead of Cyborg. Yeah. Maybe it's because I hate Cyborg. That is possible. That is possible. That's a bias. I'll admit it. I'll admit it. Um, this is fun, though, in the sense that it's so much of a trip down the DC lane. Yeah. Like, Again, if you don't know certain things from DC Comics, yeah. there's a lot that's going to go yeah. over your head. It's going to pew, 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 pew. Yeah. Bobo's uncle. Right. Which is actually that amazing. That actually <laughs> it's actually amazing. Funny. That was very funny. Um, the song that the, the boys sang. Like, oh my gosh. Right? Right. And then the relevance therein of it. Yeah. When you I get almost want to know end. if that's true. Yeah. What is, what is the actual notation for that? Somebody tweet us that one. What are the notes? Wait, are, are we spoiling if we tell them the song? Uh, no, it's a classic yeah, it's, it's song. The first, it's like in yeah, the first page. Right. Okay, yeah. so the 66 Batman yeah. theme song. No, 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 no. Batman. What are the actual notes yeah, to the musical that song? notes. Like, if you could tell us. Yeah. Because I want to I wanna fact check something. Because yeah. if it ain't right, me and Snyder, what? Because I was there. I was with you, man. I was with you. But what if it is right? That's like so next mind. level. I will lose yeah. my mind. Yeah. The level of detail that that is, redonk. Yeah. Redonk. Yeah, a metric redonk. Yeah. I mean, really, that whole setup, though, is really kind of genius yeah. of, of those individuals having that type of thing yeah. to initiate. I really think that that's kind of smart, um, and it really plays up their, their presence and their purpose yeah. within the DCU. Yeah. So, Does that mean there's an, one of, of, of the multiverse in DC? Right? Is there a Batman six, like 1960s universe? Mm. Mm. Or is it our universe, which is different from theirs, but there's the show? Oh, that's deep. Yeah, I don't know. Like, what if on the Batman 66 universe, they have a TV show that's like our universe? Yeah. It's all greedy and hardcore. Oh, man. I don't know. That'd be awesome. That, it, that would be awesome. Yeah. Um, I think, okay, so another potential criticism mm -hmm. I'm going to give for this one. Okay. So this started off with a very Batman-centric focus. Yes. But it seems as though the goal here now is bigger than Batman. Yeah. My only complaint there is if everything is so focused on bats, mm -hmm. why the bigger picture? Why why not incorporate more of what you need in the bigger picture yeah. or in the in the setup of everything yeah. if it does include it? Yeah. Is there a reason? Is Batman just that prolific of a character, property Maybe. to draw you in? Like you see the bat ears, you and know you're gonna be there. Yeah, and you're gonna jump in. Is that Batman, Knight, Dark right? Knight. I'm there. Dark metal. Is it, or, or maybe that's what it is. Like yeah. the branding was so on point, on the nose, that you yeah. just couldn't go anywhere else yeah. without starting a Batman. But when they kind of tinker with that one character down near yes. the end. Yes, yes, which is why I'm asking. It, yeah, because that means there's all those options right? that we can't talk about for that particular exactly. character. Exactly, exactly. Is that more terrifying? Because uh, how do you stop that? How do you stop that? Yeah, and, you and that's the thing. Like, how do you stop that? And considering that the basis of this whole thing is someone's fears, is there not a better character to fight that than Isn't the ones that we're seeing? Oh, right? right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But again, you can only ask that question yeah. if you're if you're deep in DC lore. Yeah. Like you gotta, you gotta read. You like, gotta be in there, man. You gotta be reading the comic books. Yes, regularly, yeah. weekly, like we do yeah. on this show, Black, White, and Red All Over, which yeah. you're subscribed to, right? Right. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, art wise is beautiful. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, these guys know what they're doing. Yeah. Storytelling wise, that's that's what they do. One of those one of those tandems I think is going to go down in history. Yes. Yeah, I honestly think like yes. Gibbons and Moore. Yes. Uh, yeah. Quietly and everybody. You know what? I'm actually <laughs> gonna I'm gonna extend it out and yeah. say that you almost have to go for the quartet. These are the Beatles of things. So oh. you have to include the anchor and the colors yeah. because I think. It is very easy to go writer artist, but to be fair, like an inker and a colorist can totally throw things off. Yeah. So like, you know, um, oh, I'm trying to think who was inking Hitch during the Ultimates, where you had Laura oh. Martin do the colors. I think it was Paul Neary. Yeah. Was inking Hitch, and then Laura, and then you had Mark. That quartet was amazing, yeah. and I think if you if you didn't have any one of them, yeah. you could tell. Yeah. Maybe that's just me. And the opposite end of the spectrum, when Joe Maggiero was, was right? doing the art, the it inking, oh, it was horrible. The inking wasn't, and the coloration it? was just wasn't terrible. It, it was muddy, yeah. and you're just like, it's Joe Mad. Like, how did you how mess you, this up? Yeah. How did you mess this up? Yeah. So I think as a quartet, and I almost think like yeah. that's why they're all back together, because I mean, remember, uh, Jonathan stopped inking, uh, I think it was like right after City of Owls. Okay. And so obviously there was something missing, brought it all back, yeah. bands back together. Yeah. And you see what happens. They, good they stuff. fire on all cylinders. Very good stuff. Very, very, very good yeah. stuff. Me likey, me likey. You know what? I think it's that time, dude. We gotta do it. We gotta do we the gotta mentions. Do, we gotta do it. We gotta mention them. Yep. Honorable uh, mentions time. <clears throat> all right, so we don't have a single no. thing that's the same. Not even close. Honorable mentions. Not even close. Like Marvel. Is right. Like, <laughs> like we've I'm got sure. three Marvels, yep. one Valiant. Um, if you don't mind, can I, can I yeah, do my Valiant Yeah, go that, go that um, direction. Because I'm, I'm repping everybody right now. These are swag pieces that I got from New York. I'm just repping hardcore some of the gifts that I've received because I love you guys. Thank you. Um, so, Harbinger Renegades number eight. Now, I'm slightly confused because it looks like the next issue is a zero issue. So, I don't know if they're starting over or if they're going back. Okay. Obviously, I won't be able to know until the new issue comes out. But what we're seeing here is really like the mechanics of like almost a soap opera sequence here. Like okay. this is, these are characters that have a lot of stuff going on. These guys um, are Psyots that um, have this power activated. There are these other two groups that are all like against each other okay. and them. And so they're trying to figure out how to best stave off either of those different efforts. And you know, there's a lot of conspiracy behind it, dude. Okay. Like a lot of conspiracy. This is like, I almost want to say like 24 with superpowers. Ooh. Right. So you look at something like that, all these different parts and pieces, people that can you know, do certain things and they are about certain things and then they might be holding secrets of other things. Um, it's kind of, it's deep, it's deep. I think this one is one, that if you want some solid, good, long form reading, this is where you go, this is where you go. What else did you do? Okay, and this is not my norm. Mm. Uh, so you say. <laughs> yeah. So got Marvel Comics, She-Hulk. Yes. Uh, it's okay. For when the series started, it was like it was hardcore. It was it was dark. She was dealing with a lot of stuff coming out of her almost death, right? Um, and trying to reintegrate herself into into society. This one's like it. At some point, it switched gears. Oh. This one's very lighthearted. It's, okay. It's very much a comedy. Um, there's fourth wall breaks, which. Not too bad. Well, yeah. It, they did the, the Dan Slot one. Yeah. All those years ago. Okay. Yeah. So it's super cool. Uh, it's uh, she goes on a date. <laughs> and the date starts off good, it goes bad, it goes even worse or bad. Oh no! It, yeah, like Not worse or still. Yeah, it was when the when when she finds out exactly who her date is, which I didn't see coming okay. in, in any way, shape, or form. Okay. So that uh, and then Patsy Walker Hellcat's there, and there's like this really cool interaction between the two. It's like she's being her support system for going out on this date, and yeah, it it ends with tacos at a taco truck. Oh. Yeah. All the gangs should end with tacos at a taco. Yeah, truck. I know, I feel right? like that's. That's, of, that's the high note. Yeah. S- starts with Once Upon a Time, right. ends with tacos at a taco truck. Boom. Someone write it. Boom. That should be every issue. That yeah. should actually be a month for Marvel. Like they taco just start truck off month. with taco, <laughs> taco <laughs> truck month. Let's make that happen. Yeah. Somebody do that. Um, I took an X Men Blue. Um, this is a. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think this ties into the legacy stuff where they are actually kind of going back and throwing bones at classic. Yeah institutions of these different characters. So for this one, we're dealing with Mojo, baby. Mojo. Um, Obviously, this series is called Mojo Worldwide, so that's not a spoiler at all, and this is part two, so we already knew that Mojo was involved. But um, one of the things that's really interesting is the setup here, um, and mind you, this is Colin Bunn, so you know this is gonna be 
really well written. Yeah. Um, Jorge Medina is doing the, the art tour, so it's pretty full. But they are playing around with different eras of the X-Men's history oh. in this. And so maybe as a form of legacy, this is kind of leading into that. Yeah. Um, and kind of smartly so. I think that's the way that we should do things like that. If you're going to kind of reconnect things to the origins, let's kind of update people on where we've been. Yeah. And this is a cool way of doing so without, you know, doggedly being like, this was the X-Men, yeah. Charles Xavier did this, there were five of them, blah, 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 blah. Um, it's, a, it's a cool way to look at things. Yeah. So definitely check this one out. It's good. Good to <clears throat> Also tying into the X-Men. Yes. All these current, this one's currently not a member. Iceman. Right. I know it was last week. But I know it was last week. I screwed up and didn't review this last week for a guest. I am making right by that. Yes. All right. So it's another episode where a character goes on a date. You were feeling all kinds of uh, rom com this it, week, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, I, you need apparently. You no, I, I, I don't like being touched. I don't like being touched. But that's, that's in the area. That's different. That's <laughs> yeah. different. That's different. So, so Bobby uh, is finally going out on his first date with another man. Okay. Uh, really? It, yeah. I, that's why I was asking before, that, like when, because it feels like this would have already happened at right. some point. Like he's just been denying it. He's like, yeah, mm, but like, he, ah, yeah. Mm. So it, it finally happens okay. uh, over the course of it. And it, like it starts off with, with the champions dealing with the death of Natasha Romanoff. Okay. Um, which is, yeah, we'll get to, we can get to that. It's upsetting. Yeah. It's upsetting. And through the, through the course of that, drinking and trying to remember stories, okay. ends up meeting this dude, they go on this date, and there is somebody, because they're in the Hollywood area, okay. uh, there's somebody that is trying to shoot like a, like a, like a indie film or something, mm -hmm. and they end up having to fight what that person is using to. Oh. Yeah. And it fits. Okay. And okay. They, they officially call themselves the champions at the end. Out of curiosity, mm -hmm. is he at all involved with She-Hulk State? No. Oh, how meta would that have been? Yeah. You could have been like at the same place. Right. You know, they right. passed each other. That would be yeah, cool. Yeah, he, they could have courted him. How, how yeah. do you know that, that one of your other people in the bullpen is like, I'm already a date with She-Hulk. I think uh, maybe, you know, they should talk. You know, send a little few yeah. emails. Like, I don't know. Maybe a writer summit. Marvel does that, don't they? I know they used to. I'm just saying. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Good books, though. Yes. Good books. Um, I feel like we had a lot of books last week. This one's tempering down a little bit, and it's yeah. kind of smart that they did this post New York because there's a lot of stuff that was announced in New York. Coming yeah. Up. So you kind of don't want to come in and be like, "I need everything." You're like, "Slow down, slow down." Yeah. Pace your yourself. Take Pace your time. yourself. Um, so yeah, this was some good stuff. Some really good stuff. Yeah. Uh, again, if you aren't subscribed to our channel, definitely subscribe. Why no Click subscribe? That Click that button. Why Click no the subscribe? bell so we tell you. Yeah. Yes. And again, if you have anything in any comments, if you want to talk yeah. about the stuff, that we, if you disagree, yeah, comment. Tell us. Comment. Do it tastefully. Yeah. I mean, I will fight you. I'm just saying. I'm, I don't know where I'd be at. I, I, I will just show up places. I came in second place in a lot of fights, so I will not fight you. I'm just being honest. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. I wouldn't tell anybody. That's just oh. me. We'll edit it out. Yeah, yeah. Delete that. Yeah, didn't happen. This is not the fight you're looking for. 